From Olympia, this is Hans Zeiger, your state representative for the 25th district. Our district includes Puyallup, Fife, South Hill, Summit, Midland, and Parkland. The 2014 legislative session is underway. The governor delivered a state of the state address during the first week and committee work began. The biggest news as we begin the session comes not from the legislature, but from the Supreme Court across the parking lot from the Capitol building. The state's highest court issued a, a recent report on the McCleary decision saying the legislature is not on target to fully fund basic education by the 2017 through 18 school year, despite the $1.6 billion we pumped into education last session. The court ordered lawmakers to submit a complete plan by the end of April to detail how the state will fully pay for basic education. The report from the court is being reviewed by the state attorney general. Until we receive that opinion, we can't say what the legislature will be obligated to do this session. While I'm completely committed to our constitutional mandate to make education our paramount duty, I have to say I'm deeply concerned about the court's activist approach here. The legislature takes its policy direction from you, the citizens, not from the judicial branch of government. The court has no business dictating the specifics of how we fund education, though fund education we must. Speaking of education, I have two bills before the House Education Committee. Both have received public hearings and several people from our community came down to testify. House Bill 2216 is entitled, Encouraging the Inclusion of Local History Information in the Washington State History and Government Curriculum. My bill simply amends the law concerning Washington State History and Government courses to say that each school district is encouraged to include information on local history in its curriculum, which may include visits to local landmarks and museums, readings on local history, and interaction with local historical societies. It's important that our state law explicitly encourage such partnerships. I believe that an awareness of local history helps students to appreciate the significance of their communities. It gives them a rich perspective on the people, places, and institutions around them. The committee also heard House Bill 2217, which would encourage school districts to use family and community engagement coordinators to organize partnerships between schools, the school district, and community-based organizations in order to expand academic and non-academic programs using school facilities outside of the regular school day or year. We need to be more welcoming of community partners in our schools. Education is a community-wide endeavor, and schoolhouse doors should be open to after-school activities, nonprofit groups, and a range of civic organizations. Well, the legislative process is a conversation. Conversations with neighbors in our district and with people in both parties from every part of the state. I want to hear your concerns and comments this session, so please don't hesitate to contact my office. Thanks, and keep in touch, and go Hawks!